What's up YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and today I want to show you a quick tip in Logic. Now you know on your iOS devices when you open up GarageBand you have those smart instruments that kind of sort of play out um, instruments easily and kind of helps you along with your song. And in one in particular you have the smart drums which you can kind of just create a beat with the click of a mouse. Now I'm going to show you how to do that in Logic Pro. It's not exactly the same, it's not as easy, but it sort of gets you to the same point. Let's say you don't have... Um, you're on the mute to create music, but you just want to kind of play around and maybe create something. This could kind of uh, spice up those uh, juices to make some music. So the first thing I do is uh, create a software instrument track, which I got right here. And then you're going to bring in an ultra beat synth. So go to ultra beat, bring it in. I'm going to drag my uh, plug in from the other window, and we're going to open up a drum bank here. So drum kits, and we're just going to go to whatever, remix, R&B kit. Okay. I'm going to go to a blank drum sequence. I'm going to go to full view. Now, to get that smart drums kind of going, all you have to do is select the one that you want to work with. Right click in that area. So when you hover over an area, that is the sample that you're going to uh, manipulate. So right here, I want to manip manipulate my main kick. So I'm just going to right click and go create and replace randomly. And I can go ahead and play, and it's going to play out those drums for me. Oh, let me turn on my ultra beat. So I'm just going to place my clap. So as you can see, it doesn't always work out as good as the GarageBand iOS devices, but you can kind of play around with it. You can go ahead and create a place randomly. This actually really works well on percussion instruments. So you can go here, create and replace some. So here's a shaker we can bring in, create and replace randomly. So here we're going to do create and replace many. So we're just going to add a normal percussion instrument. We'll open up a hi-hat. So select the hi-hat. When you know you're selected, when you have this gray line going through it, and you right click with your mouse, and then you can go ahead and create whatever you want to do here. So if I want to go create and replace some, go ahead and play that. If I don't like that groove, I could just re-click it, right-click, and go create and replace randomly, and it'll change it up for me. Let's try that again. So that is how you do that, uh, some smart drums in um, Logic Pro. Now, I, like I said, it's not the exact same, but it could kind of give you some cool grooves that you probably would not have made uh, originally. So all you have to do again is just right click and go through this stuff here. You actually have some cool other features here that I will probably get into other tutorials, but uh, go ahead, enjoy the smart drums and Logic Pro. If you have any questions on this, you can ask me in the comment section, guys. And as usual, more great stuff always coming soon. So uh, remember to subscribe. Talk to you soon. Later.